to the World Archery World Series Indoor Final here in Las Vegas, USA. Please welcome the athletes to the field for the Recurve Women's Gold Medal Match. inside the broadcast booth for the World Archery Indoor World Series Finals. My name is Greg White. Sitting alongside me is Rio Wild, who has 14 World Championship gold medals to his Palmares and also three Vegas titles. Rio, welcome to the booth. Here's how we got here, Rio. As you can see, it's an all-Korea final for this women's recurve with Casey Koffel, the United States 14-year-old, just missing out yeah. in the bronze medal. Yeah, in fact, that was a rematch of uh, Neems. Mm -hmm. You know, the gold medal final there, so it felt the same way as it did there. So this will be a good match to watch. These two are both really good archers and <clears throat> compete on the same team. So we're at the South Point Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this archery tournament, 18 meters, just about 20 yards, a little bit shorter than 20 yards, the distance to this vertical target face. Starting us off is going to be Sim. Yeah, shooting a 10 about the size of a silver dollar. There you go. Four centimeters for all of you watching around the world. And Kong with a good one. Yeah, this will be a good match, and it'll it'll be interesting to see how they react with each other, both being on the same team, you know, having some familiarity. Because I've seen matches where you have a lot of familiarity, mm -hmm. and you either both struggle or you both excel. For sure, when Sim, when, when Sim walked out onto the floor. You can see on her face, like, oh, this is kind of a big stage with a big crowd. Not yeah. the usual circumstances for archery around the world. I'm not really sure what it's like in Korea. It might be the same. Are they are, they are big in archery. They love it. They love it. All right, so a little left. Doors open. Now, this is set scoring. And what does that mean, Rio? Uh, it means that they tied the score, so they both will receive a seven. If one of them would have, she'd have shot a 10 there for a 30, she'd have got both set points. It's the first one to six, that's who wins the match. Just kind of a different breakdown of how it goes down, and it's, it's a, a different format. Mm -hmm. So if they tie at five set points apiece, then we go to a single arrow elimination. The Korean style of archery is so distinctive, isn't it, Rio? Yep, they do a lot of teaching. Start really young, mm -hmm. have a really good program of how to build them. I mean, they work hard at it. There's nothing, and like these, these corporate teams, these girls compete together a lot, and it's kind of their job. Yeah, it's something obviously we wish we had some corporate teams in the United States, but what are some of the big, obviously this is the, the Hyundai Mobis team that they shoot mm -hmm. for, but there's some other large ones out there, aren't there? Yeah, there's a Hyundai Steel, there's an LG, a lot of different ones, and it's kind of cool that they've kind of really bought in and been a big part of this World Indoor Series. Because I think it's going to be a big thing when it's all said and done. This will be huge. Yeah, absolutely. Good looking shot. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I think it's going to be a lot of back and forth. Yeah. Like I said, you know each other and you know what you're capable of. So it does cause a lot of different anxiety, a lot of different things in your head. Good shot in this world, in this indoor World Series finals, by the way, which began in 2011. Korea has won it five. 
out of eight times in women's recurve. They're pretty dominant women's recurve. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're not familiar with it, they do. <laughs> they they put a lot of medals on the plate. <laughs> Great shot by Seam, 25 years old, not world ranked. Did compete back in 2013 <laughs> as a younger archer. <laughs> going up, up, up against Kong Che Young, 22 years old, ranked seventh in the world. And like I said, I think you're going to see a lot of familiarity with the two coming I mean, with tens all the way across. You know, they, they know what the other one's capable of. They're going to push each other. When the one shot a nine last end, the other one followed it up with another nine. It's going to be one of them back and forth, which will be their awesome matches to watch. Mm -hmm. It's funny because my inclination, Rio, is to go to you and say, kind of analyze that shot. but. The Korean method is so solid. It's got such incredible form. They've been doing it for so many thousands and thousands of arrows in yeah. practice that it's really hard to really say anything in particular about no. the form. It's and it's it's interesting because it, a lot of it comes from uh, an American archer. Is that right? Yeah, they did a lot of analyzing of Daryl Pace, the two-time Olympic gold medalist. They come over, analyzed a lot of his stuff, and implemented a lot of it into their system. But, I mean, Daryl uh, won two Olympic gold medals, and actually was in between the boycott year of the U.S. Oh, yeah, right. So he could have been a three-time gold medalist. He was that dominant. <laughs> so not a bad guy to want to kind of emulate <laughs> your forms after. Sim, the archer getting ready to shoot at the moment, was here in Vegas back in 2016. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if that asterisk nine puts the pressure on, mm -hmm. or if she just relaxes and puts another ten in there. Ten liner. Rhea, what about the way Sim decides to shoot her targets in the order in which she shoots them? It's a little different. I've never seen someone start in the middle and work their way up. Could be something that she's kind of designed, because if you're ever in a tie and a shoot-off, you have to shoot the middle target first. So maybe in an experience that she's had, she shot the wrong one in a shoot-off, so she's kind of built herself that way. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just saying I don't know. Sure. Right, right. But that would make a lot of sense. That could be that could be a way that she's doing to deal with that yeah. so she don't do that again, which is a young archer. That could be a smart thing to do. We're going to wait to find out what the score is on this one because if that nine asterisk goes, then we're going to have a 3-3 three, three tie in set yeah. points instead of a 4-2. That could be a big swing. Yeah. Lane number one is where we're looking. That it was the target, I think, that had the yeah, yeah, it's gonna be the one in the middle, the middle and it's one. counted as a ten. So we're at three three. Yeah. Like I said, it's gonna be tight. I mean, I know that Dave Cousins and I at one of the world indoors in Alberg, Denmark, shot horrible. Mm. 114 to 114. But we knew and it just kinda caused us both anxiety and things like that, and you didn't and I watched guys stand up and shoot one 50 to 150 that know what they're capable of that are familiar. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's interesting how you flow together because you know each other so well. All tied up. This is a pretty important set because it can put you at five to three. Mm -hmm. And you know, that puts a pretty good heel to try and climb. Yes. Nice 10. Good start. Once again, these archers shooting 18 meters, just about 20 yards, and that 10 ring is four centimeters, size of a, a about one, a silver dollar, yeah, about a, silver. a U.S. silver dollar, yeah. yeah. Both archers choosing micro arrows, Easton right. X10s. Probably something they shoot outside, you know, their outdoor setup. Yeah. Oof. Nearly dead center yeah. on that shot from Kong. Now the last two arrows, you know, I mean, <laughs> this is a huge arrow for both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence in that delivery, though. Yeah. Really. Good, good, strong shot. There was no no hesitant, no anything. She she put it where she wanted it and just executed. Yeah. Same there. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I can do it better. The match we thought we were going to have in women's recurve. No judge calls needed on this one. We know we're splitting set points. 
If this happens one more time, Rio, and we have a 5-5, explain what happens after that. And then, just like I said, we'll go to a shoot-off. And you have to, the rules stay, you have to shoot the middle target. So okay. her setup for Sim could be a good thing. Yeah. Like I said, maybe at some point in her career, young career, she shot the wrong target in the shoot-off, and like, hey, this could be a good setup for me, because maybe that will help me not do that again. Yeah, right. Scorers have cleared the area. Leading the way again is going to be Simye G. This really makes this an important set because it could finish the match or it could put you in a tie. Yeah. And it's fun to watch because the more tight it gets, the more center these two have put the arrows in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're new to archery, it doesn't matter where the arrow lands. It could be touching the line on the very outside. At this stage of the match, it's as long as you're touching the line, you get the higher point value for that ring. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. and that could be one of those where it could be touching the outside of the line. If it is touching, she'll get the higher point value, the 10. That's why you see the asterisks. Yeah. Ooh, quick shot, nice, mm -hmm. really good, strong shot. After knowing your opponent may be missed, maybe you feel like the door's open. I mean, it's a... Good setup. Good finish. Definitely, you know, I mean, <coughs> you got that arrow in question, so you don't know, but Sim came. she gave herself a chance. Sim came off the look at her on the right hand side of your screen. Yeah. Coaches, coaches having a conversation, yeah, back and forth. They're like, hey, maybe your, yours got it, maybe mine's got it. But like I said, they're both on the same team, so it's not really a disappointment. So this is it. This call right here is going to, could decide the gold medal to be called the Indoor World yeah. Series champion. Yep. It's in. Uh, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, just got the call. It's in. 10, 10, 10. <laughs> right, little a little relief. <laughs> right there. I know how that is. <laughs> Love seeing that emotion. So we are yeah. all tied up in this women's recurve gold medal final for the 2018-2019 Indoor World Series Finals here in Las Vegas for World Archery. And when she came off the line, Tim came off the line, she even said, that's my, that's my fault. So, yeah, interesting. And you knew, you must have had some sort of intuition because we talked about shoot-offs right from the get-go. Didn't we? Yeah, and so interesting the coaches don't even have binoculars though, you know, so they kind of yeah. left it up to the judges and, and the naked eye. Oftentimes when we see these competitors shoot outdoors, you're going to have a coach in the coach's box with you know, yeah. binoculars but or a, lot a spotting of times, scope. And the, the reasons for that is to kind of give you a little reprieve if you walk back to know whether they feel it's in or out. But for the most part, the coaches there, that's their biggest job. Make sure you, you feel as comfortable as you possibly can. Here we go. It's shoot off time. Middle target only. No. Closest to the center? Closest to dead center. There's no question. You put it as close to that cross right in the middle as you can. 20 seconds to shoot it. The crowd is holding their breath. Good quick shot. Whoa. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Which crowd. is always good to be able to throw a good one down there and then be like, hey, now you got to match it. Yeah, the pressure's on. Oh, the first sign of the match. Uh, our second nine, sorry. Yeah, first, yeah. First third arrow. Yeah. So, your number one qualifier, Simye G, in a shoot off, able to catch with the 2019 Indoor World Series gold medal and a big wave to the crowd. Yeah. I love seeing that emotion. From Miss yeah. Archer. She knows what she just accomplished. She's got a lot of great stuff going on that oh, day. Oh, heck yeah, yeah. There's nothing but excitement, man. I mean, usually sometimes it takes a little bit to, like, uh, hit the realization button in your head, but it's, you know, you get that first little rush, but. 